God we serve is able to save us from all the dangers and darkness. The Daniel's three friends, Zadrach, Meshach, Abednego, these three friends of Daniel, they don't worship the idols. When they don't worship the idols, King Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, he was so angry. That king, he destroyed Jerusalem, he burned the Solomon Temple. And he took all the silver and gold, everything from Jerusalem. This man, King Nebuchadnezzar, actually uh, later he become like the animal. He eat the grass. Can you imagine? King of Babylon, he eat the grass like a cow for seven years because he become very proud. But thanks be to God, he repented the sins and he recognized the God of Zadrach, Meshach, Abednego, which means God of Israel, God of Daniel. They are truly, truly Almighty God, God of heaven and earth. And then, you know, Sadrach, Meshach, Abednego, they go to the you know, fire. But do you know what they say? They say like this, verse 16. Sadrach, Meshach, Abednego replied to the king, or Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to depend ourselves before you in this matter. We don't want to worship the idols, just to let you know. He's, they speak like this. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to save us from it. They know that God is able to save us from this fire. And He will, God will rescue us from your hand, O King. It's a wonderful comment. God will rescue us from all this terrible fire. We know that. But they speak more. Verse 18, Daniel chapter 3, verse 18, this is very important. If you have the faith like this, uh, I'm telling you, you, you are a mighty man of God or woman of God. Daniel chapter 3, verse 18. But even if he does not, if God does not, yeah, we want you to know, O oh king, that we will not serve your God or worship the image of gold. You have set up. Even if God does not save us, yeah. Even if God does not deliver us from this terrible situation, we still praise Him. We still worshiping God, not worship any other image, not idols. No, only God of heaven and earth, our God of Israel. They speak like this. Can I encourage you? Unfortunately, many, many Christians, they pray to God, if God not answer me, oh, I don't believe in you. Many people, they upset by God. Can you imagine? God is a gracious God. He's a merciful God. He's a wonderful God. Why do you are upset by God? I know the one lady, she asked me, Pastor Paul, can you pray for me? I pray to God for husband. She said, when I was 18, I pray for my husband. And I ask her, how old are you? She said, 42. Which means she prayed for her husband for 24 years. Can you imagine? She prayed to God for 24 years, asking God, Lord God, Almighty God, give me husband. She prayed and prayed for 24 years. And she kneeled down in front of me, and then she asked me, can you pray for me? Okay, I don't mind. I can pray for you. God give you a good husband. Let me pray for you. When I laid my hand on her hand like this, do you know what was happening? Suddenly, she was so angry. She used her finger like this. Do you know what she did? She pointed on God. You, God, I prayed to you for my future husband. Last 24 years. Where is my husband? She was shouting like this. Do you know what I did? I laid her, hair, uh, her head like this, by my hand. And do you know what I did? I covered her finger like this by my hand. Don't do it. <laughs> Can you imagine? She point on the Almighty God like this. Don't do it. I fully understand. She was very upset. She prayed to God for her husband for 24 years. She didn't receive the answer. That is why she was very upset. And she said, where is my husband? She was so angry with God.
Can I encourage you? Don't be angry with God, please. There is a great, you know, uh, a great mercy and His love and kindness in your circumstance. If God, this man, three men, Sadrach, Mesach, Abednego, do you know what they say? Even if God does not save us, let, let you king, you began to let you know that we don't worship any other idols. We worship our God. Can you imagine? Do you have that kind of faith? And then, do you know what was happening? The soldiers, uh, the, you know, they, they killed because so hot. The fire burned, they killed the soldier. And then verse 23, then three men firmly tied fell into the blazing furnace. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet in amazement and asked the advisors, were, were done there three men and we tied up and threw into the fire? They replied, certainly king, O king. He said, look, I see four men. Can you imagine? Satrang, Meshach, Abednego, three people entered the fire. But this king Nebuchadnezzar, he saw the four men. One man came. Do you know what was happening? The Bible saying, this man saying, I saw the four men walking around in the fire, unbound and unharmed. And the fourth looked like a son of God. Actually, it's Jesus. Can you imagine? This story, Daniel's story, 2,500 years ago, the story. But 2,500 years ago, before Jesus came to Bethlehem, <laughs> son of living God, Jesus, he was in the throne of the Lord. He's sent by God into the fire. Four. Sadra, Mesa, Abednego, and Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord Jesus Christ. Four people in the fire. But what was happening, Nebuchadnezzar then approached the opening the blazing furnace and shouted, Sadra, Messiah, Abednego, servant of the Most High God, come out, come here. So Sadra, Messiah, Abednego came out of a fire and the strap of perfect governors and lawyer advice <laughs> crowd around them. They saw the fire had not harmed their bodies nor was the hair of their head signed. Their <laughs> robes were not scorched, and there was no smell of fire on them. Can you imagine? Sadrach, Meshach, Abednego, they went to the fire, and God sent Jesus, went there, and then saved three of his friends of Daniel. Sadrach, Meshach, Abednego saved them. Do you know this Sadrang Mesa Abednego? Do you know what they say? God we serve is able to save us from this fire. They knew. And they say, if God does not save us, it's still okay. That kind of fate. If God not save us from this fire, we still praise God. Oh King Nebuchadnezzar, let you know that we don't serve the any other idols. We was we will serve the Almighty God, King of Israel. Yeah, I mean, God of Israel, King of kings and Lord of lords. Then Nebuchadnezzar say, verse 28 is very important. You say, praise be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. You see, no small G, G-O-D, capital G-O-D, is God. God of Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. This King Nebuchadnezzar say, praise be the name of God. He's worshiping God. And he say, who has sent his angels? Let's go, his servant. They trust in him and defy the king's command, were willing to give up their lives rather than serve and worship any other god except their own god, God of Israel. God want to encourage you today, if anybody see you, they recognize that your God is truly, truly God of heaven and earth. Do they recognize you? I just encourage you, Sadra, Meshach, Abednego, three friends of Daniel, they enter the fire. And then they say, before enter the fire, God we serve is able to save us from this fire. But if even if he, he does not save us, we will 
go into the fire. That kind of faith is very, very important. When you live in this world, God tests your faith. Sometime, two times, God tests your faith. You serving God with all your heart to the And God, when God tests you, you have to pass the test. When God tests Abraham, bring your son, uh, your son Isaac as a burnt offering. And Abraham passed the test. And you know what God said? Now I know that you fear God. You know, when you live in this world, God wants to encourage you. Like this man, three men, Sadrach, Mesach, Abednego. You know, we, we no longer live, but Christ lives in us. You know, Philippians chapter 1, verse 21 saying, Paul, Apostle Paul say, For me to live is Christ, to die is gain. You know, to die is gain. When you live in this world, when you die, can you die for Jesus? When you live in this world, can you live, live for Jesus? I live for Jesus. If I die, I die for Jesus. You know, whatever I do, I do it for the Lord Jesus Christ. It is Sadra, Mesa, Gabenugo. They don't worship any other idols. No money. No any other image of the, this world. Nothing. Only God of Israel. Worshiping God. Please, please worship Jesus only. Yeah, not even worship the angels. When the Apostle John, he saw the angels in the heaven, in the book of Revelation, say he wanted to bow down and worship the angel. Angels say, don't worship me. Worship God alone. You have to worship God. We have, uh, you know, when you live in this world, there's uh, many temptations in, in this world. Some people, their job is uh, idols. Their children, their idols. Their husband or wife become idols. You know, money become idols. Their stomach is uh, their idols. Their hobbies become idols. Their skills, their careers, uh, anything is become idols in this world. In India, there's five million idols in India. In Japan, 800,000 idols in Japan. You know, there's millions and millions of idols in all of the world. Don't worship the idols. Please worship Jesus alone. Sadra, Meshach, Abednego, they say to King Nebuchadnezzar, King Nebuchadnezzar, let you know that even if God not save us from this fire, just let you know that we don't worship the, your, your God. We worship the God of Israel, our God. And then do you know what was happening? The King Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, praise be the God of Sadrach, Meshach, Abednego. Why? He saw, he saw the amazing you know, deliverance. If you serve in God with all your heart, your mind, your life, and love Jesus with wholeheartedly, God will save you. God will deliver you. God will serve. God will serve. He's able to save us. He is able to save us from all the dangers and darkness. You know, for me, last uh, over three months, I lay down on my bed because of a vertigo. I didn't have a balance. Last week, I was laid down on my bed for 24 hours. Can you imagine lay down on my bed for 24 hours because of vertigo? I had a you know, ENT, you know, ENT appointment in the St. John, St. George Hospital in Tooting. They canceled on the 15th of June and uh, because of coronavirus. Do you know how many times ambulance came to my house? Three times. <laughs> when the ambulance come to the house in these days, people thought, oh, somebody died by coronavirus. People died by coronavirus. Then I had the vertigo. I had, oh, it's terrible. But thanks be to God. If I die, I die for Jesus. And then God is able to save me. God is able to heal me. And then thanks be to God, He saved me. He healed me from all the sickness and, and dangers and darkness. God is able. Our God is able. Everything is possible with God. If you love Jesus, if you believe that Jesus is your Lord and your Savior, He is able to save you. He is able to deliver you from all the dangers and darkness. I had so many difficult situations in London. People tried to kill me. You know, one gangster came to me with a knife. He tried to chop to my head. And then I told him, this gangster, 
Before you kill me, let me pray first. I pray to God, Lord Jesus, if I'm die, I need a, um, our church need another pastor in our church. Can you use this man as a pastor in our church? I was pray, and then I pray to God, Lord, I'm ready to be with you, Lord. Forgive my sins, forgive his sins. When I finished my prayer, I opened my eyes. I saw the visions, and my head fell on the floor. He said, I was the TV scaring actually. And at the same time, the gangster screamed, ah, like this. He chopped his own finger in front of me. Can you imagine, gangster? Instead of he chopped my head, he chopped his own finger. And blood covered my all my face, all my cloth. And he was crying. And I told him, today is the day of salvation. Repent your sins, give your life to Jesus. Can you imagine, gangster? He tried to kill me, but he gave his life to Jesus. He became born again. I called the 999. Ambulance came within five minutes. We went to St. Thomas Hospital in Central London. Unfortunately, his, uh, he could not you know, recover his finger. And I encouraged him to went, go to the Bible College. He went to the Bible College. And uh, now he become minister in the church. Can you imagine? Gangster become a minister of the church. For me, to leave his cry, to die his game. I know where I'm going. Another time, another you know, gangster come to me with a broken bottle on my neck and tried to kill me. You know, whenever I, I almost died for 13 times in London. Can you imagine? 13 times I almost died for Jesus because I preached the gospel. When I preached the gospel, people tried to kill me. And this gangster tried to kill me, and, and oh, this is terrible happening. But thanks be to God, God delivered me from all the dangers and darkness. God we serve is able to save us from all the dangers and darkness. He's able. God is able. Even if he not save us, we know where we're going. There is a Paul say for me to live is Christ, to die is gain. To die is gain. Can you mean? Do you know what does it mean we gain? Paul say, I know I go to heaven, I, I'll be with the Lord Jesus. I can see his face every day, face to face. And, and I know my Lord Jesus waiting for me. One day I'll be with him in heaven. How are you? Jesus will come back very, very soon. Can you wake up in Jesus' name? Spiritually, watch and pray. You need to wake up, wake up. Yeah, Jesus Christ coming back very, very soon. And, and this is time to uh, live for Jesus. God is uh, he, he is looking for the people. Yeah, he is willing to you know, deliver the people. Yeah, he is able to change your life. He's able to do something for your life. Can I pray for you now? Father, I thank you for this time. I pray for my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus' name. God of Sadrach, Meshach, Abednego, God of Daniel. And he is our God. Father God, I thank you. You saved this Sadrach, Meshach, Abednego from fire. And Son of God, Jesus came to the fire to save them. Their hair, hair is nothing burnt. And Lord Jesus, give us a faith like the Sadrach, Meshach, Abednego. Even Daniel, he went to the, the lion's den. And lion cannot kill him because of he trusts in Jesus, trusts in God. Father God, help us to trust in you. God we serve is able to save us from all the sickness, from all the dangers, from all the darkness. Father, would you save them and bless them and encourage them. Father, God, protect them from all the dangers and darkness. Father, we praise your name. Would you bless them abundantly right now. Your grace and your mercy come upon them right now. Father, we thank you. We give all the glory and honor and power. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, Pastor Abidu, and I will love you. And then I keep on praying for you. You want to finish the, your, your building project to your house. And then, yeah, may God bless you. Have a wonderful evening. Be blessed. Bye now.